When we work in the ensemble, we often come to speak about a darker sound, a brighter sound, and we rehearse until we find the tone that we like. So music and paintings, already in the vocabulary, are very strongly linked. Music, from its very nature, is something totally abstract. We cannot hold it in our hand. And the moment where painters try to visualize music making is a very fascinating moment for me. As if they try to take a chord on the lute, which has a life of a few seconds, and give it eternity. What we try to do in this project is to defrost these moments. We approach a Rembrandt painting and we turn the volume a little bit higher so we can hear how it sounds from the inside. In a way, we want to create this soundtrack of the Dutch Golden Age. The lute could stand for many different things in a painting. As a harmonical instrument, it usually symbolized harmony, both in society and also in love particularly in marriage. The lute could also insert an erotic sexual spice into the painting. Most of bordello sceneries have lutes or citterns either played or hanging on the wall. These plucked instruments have always had a serenading quality as well. Think about Mozart's Don Giovanni and the canzonetta on the mandolin. The lute had a similar role in the Dutch Golden Age. The famous lutenist Nicolas Vallet even offered obads and serenades as part of his professional musician's package.